You saw what it was, Couch Conversations, brought to you by Dr. Pepper. And joining us here on the couch this week, Jamar Jefferson of Oregon State, the man who put in quite the effort in their win over Oregon. 226 yards, the most in the uh, rivalry's history to ever put that many yards up uh, on either sideline. And, Jamar, we're going to get right into it. And um, pardon me for bypassing the performance <laughs> because I just I have to focus in on the last about 45 seconds of that game. It – Felt like it took 45 seconds. I was watching it and asking what the bleep was going on. Were y'all doing the same? Uh, yeah, definitely. With the <laughs> game plan was the same, you know, uh, coming in, running the ball. Uh, yeah, that's really been the game plan, come in, run the ball, and um, try to tear the defense down. And uh, when it came to the effort that you got in, 226 yards, I touched on that before. How do you feel afterwards? Like, at, at what point did you start feeling yourself a little bit more, or was it uh, sort of a slow burn? Uh, after that first run, uh, I gained confidence, and I was like, all right, like we, like, we got this. Like, we can hang with these dudes. Like, we nice. Like, we should be able to do this. And then after that, after that, I was like, all right, like, it's time to get on the road now. Like, defense started picking up their intensity, and then it just went on from there. Jamar, you've rushed for 120 yards or more all four games this season. You're absolutely cooking, and you guys are playing good football. You're just one of two running backs in all of FBS with multiple touchdowns of 75 or more yards. What I have to know, not being an elite athlete like you or Trevor, is at what point in those 75 yards do you actually get tired and you hope nobody catches you? Really never, you know, off season I've been working so hard just to have that breakaway speed and, you know, spend extra time in the weight room and extra time with the training training coaches that help help me with my speed. So that's what I've been working on. And I want to piggyback off of that because you said you've been grinding in the offseason, this being your third year campaign, but you still feel underrated despite the numbers that you're putting up and the recognition that you may or may not be getting. Obviously, we're showing you love right here on the wrap up. But what do you mean by you're underrated? Because the stats and the performances say otherwise. Uh, I just, you know, throughout my whole, my whole life, I felt like I've just been underrated. Throughout high school, I was recruited not highly enough as I thought I should be, but um, I knew this game was coming up, so I knew I had to prove myself to the, to the country and, and the people that's, that was watching this game. So with that chip on your shoulder, when it comes to the next level, the NFL, as a hopeful, I imagine, going to that level, how do you uh, incorporate that motivation going into the next offseason? You know, just having that chip on my shoulder all, at all times or always, and it's just never, never, uh, always keeping my head down, always working hard and just – just never being satisfied, you know. So what exactly did you do for your offensive lineman? Because I, I feel like you would feel like <laughs> obligated to help them out, show them a little love in some regard. Is there is there something that you provided for them as a as a as a thank you of some sorts? Uh I haven't yet, but come Christmas time, I'll probably <laughs> give them something. Give them all a gift or something. <laughs> Within NCAA, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, 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 that's an understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't trying to indict nobody on the wrap up, nah. All right, um, I know this is a Twitter show, but Jmunch underscore six. I need to take it to your Instagram page because your story. It seems like every single citizen in the state of Oregon watched your game because it looks like Morris code on your story. <laughs> Everybody showing love on the <laughs> screenshots. By the way, go follow my guy Jmunch underscore uh, six. Are you blacklisting the friends who don't show love via Instagram? Because I would if I were you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can understand, yeah. right? Like, that, that you understand that, like, you know, you get plenty of love. Ain't nothing wrong with if you didn't happen to make a post up on this occasion. Uh, uh, like a post on this right now? Oh, no, no, no. I was just saying, like, for, for the homies that may not have gotten to be a part of the Morse code at the top of your Instagram <laughs> story. Like, it's all good. Ain't nobody worried about it. Like, you give them a free pass on this one, right? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jamar Jefferson joining us here on the wrap up. And one last question for you here, Jamar. Uh, look, when it comes to making some noise out in the Pac-12, how do y'all hope to court, sort of uh, make a name for yourselves and, you know, continuing this level of effort, this level of momentum coming out of a big rivalry win? Uh, you just got to come back to practice next week. I mean, this upcoming weekend, um, practice even – even harder and work on the mistakes we had in that game, you know, just getting ready for 
this this next this game week, which is Utah week. So yeah. Jamar Jefferson joining us here on the wrap up. We appreciate the time, big dog. Make sure you ice up, get ready for next week. Another two hundred and twenty some odd yards. <laughs> we expect to see it, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.